Hi everyone, welcome to Gyanal Dias. Let's all discuss a question related to geography, which was actually asked in the previous year examination. Let's try to understand how questions are patterned and how questions are asked in the UPC examination. And let's try to understand how we can develop a resilience to answer any kind of questions coming from geography area. Now, let's read the question. That is the first step. Let's read the question. Variations in the length of daytime and nighttime from season to season are due to? This is a simple straightforward question. I'm sure you all know the answer to it. But let's assume that this is a very tough question. Let's understand how we can develop a process where, whereby we can answer the question. So let's read the question again and to understand its part, right? Variation, they're saying the statement is already stating that there is a variation in length of daytime and nighttime between seasons. And what accounts for it? That is the actual question. What is the cause for that? Okay, so that is the given statement. Let's read the options here to identify the answer, right? So anyway, of all the four given here, A, B, C, and D, only one can be the right answer. So our choice would be, would have to be the right choice. Now, let's try to eliminate what we don't know. The Earth's rotation on its axis. It seems fairly straightforward, but imagine how this would play out in the real life scenario. Earth's rotation, it is not specifying how, it is, how the Earth would be moving. If it is standing still right like this, if it is standing perpendicular to the plane like this, every point on the earth would receive the same amount of sunrise, sunlight and it would receive the same amount of daytime also. So A cannot be the answer. Okay. Now B, the earth's revolution around the sun in an elliptical manner. Let's keep that aside to consider it later. Let's move on to C, latitudinal position of the place. Now, what is latitudes? Imaginary lines going up and down from the point of equator. This would be 0 degree latitude and whatever above is 5, 10, 20 north latitude and coming down is 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 90 south latitude. So any point on the axis, any point on the latitude, it is saying latitudinal position of the place determines the day and length and time of change of variation. That is a plausible conclusion considering that sun's apparent motion apparent movement of the sun up and down the latitude right but let's consider the third second options one option once again the earth's revolution around the sun in an elliptical manner that is also see all the options seems to be correct okay it only can be eliminated we can only choose which one is more better which is more suited which one is more correct to the statement. Now, elliptical orbit is, looks something like this. Sometimes the sun is further away. Sometimes the sun is closer, right? It is not a perfect circle. It sometimes goes around a perihelion and perihelion, right? So, if the earth is revolving around the sun in an elliptical orbit and if the earth has a perpendicular axis, then again, the amount of sunlight received by each area would be the same, right? If it is, the axis is exactly perpendicular, each side would receive the same amount of radiation despite the fact that it sometimes goes further and sometimes come nearer to the sun, right? So B can be eliminated. Now, so even if you are not clear with B, read the last option also. Revolution of the earth on a tilted axis. Now, it is a little more specific and it is more clear. Now, it is more possible and plausible, right? Revolution, that is true. It is revolving around the sun and we know that revo revolution and the movement of earth through space creates this variation in, in seasons. So, revolution, first part is correct, on a tilted axis. Now, that makes the option very interesting. The axis of the earth is tilted. Now, it is tilted to 23 degree and sometimes this axis, this tilt makes the earth face the earth and sometimes it is faced away. That is, sometimes the northern hemisphere faces the earth and sometimes the southern hemisphere faces the earth. When the northern hemisphere is facing the earth, we experience summer. And when north is facing summer, 
the south is definitely on winter season and vice versa so considering each options carefully now remember these are the kind of questions which is very hard to prepare right because each of them are closely related and it seems to be correct right but it is that last part last word the tilted axis okay it is the tilted axis b is almost almost close right b comes almost close the earth's revolution around the sun in an elliptical manner that is true the statement is true but it does not answer the question if the and the question to be answered very clearly and very thoroughly d that this word the tilted axis has to be added so the answer to this question here is undoubtedly d now this is how you have to go through the questions and you have to eliminate each options one by one okay if it is a tough question if it is a question that you have not prepared well well in advance you have to go through them and find out those two pairs this is something you can do right perhaps you can find out those two pairs which which are closely resembling and yet have completely different meaning right both are true in their own sense but d answers the question that is our aim whether you think the statement any statement is right or wrong is beyond the point the point is whether it answers the question and if it answers the question you are lucky you get the mark right so the answer to this question here is d thanks for watching